brand new style for Macau Welch called Going Places. I'm going to be showing you this one in two colors today. So if you're a little curious about that one, I hope you stay tuned. Okay, before I go any further, I want to tell you what I got on my head right now because many of you ask and I always forget to say it. I always put it down below in the comment box, but this is January by John Renault in Shaded Mocha for those of you that may be interested. The reason why I ended up with two of these, so I really, really hope that I like the style in some way or fashion because I cannot return either one of these. Um, I bought them both on sale, like clearance sale. So I got great prices, one more than other, one uh, even one amazing price over the other, but they still really good prices. So nonetheless, <laughs> I ended up getting two and I hope I can make them work if I think they're okay. We'll see. All right, let's take a look at the cap here. This is um, in their signature collection. This is a brand new style, I do believe. All right. Let me take off the netting here. So the first one we're going to look at today is going to be in the Shaded Biscuit, right? Yes, this is the Shaded Biscuit. So let's look at this cap. I'm already seeing some permities. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling that it has that silicone kind of sticky stuff on here. That's kind of nice. It probably won't slip around as much and cause less friction, which means maybe even less itching if that's an issue with you. All right, so there's a left side mono part here, which means you're going to have a very natural scalp part experience there. Right in here, uh, left side, we have the gorgeous uh, lace front here. Raquel Welch always does beautiful lace fronts. There is a really nice uh, soft velvet ear tab. However, I'm going to tell you right now that I can tell that those metal stays, if there are, there, is there a metal stay in here? I am, I'm feeling some kind of something that's bendable, but I want to say it's not the traditional metal stay that I'm used to. Very weak. I am not sure how I'm going to feel about that. We do not have an extended nape, however, um, but it is a soft, uh, velvety material and we still also have the, the velcro pull tabby things and that just lets you kind of adjust it up to a half inch so that's all there and then the rest of it is all machine wefted so it's going to be cool um, again look at all we got permatease all around here all all around the part area there all right so definitely a cool very light blonde um, okay, all right, okay, okay, so I can, I can already see where I'm going to have my little bit of trouble spots, but that's okay. So guys, this is a heat friendly fiber, which means say I'm not digging this full thing here going forward. I could take a little bit of heat to this. I can heat up my probably two inch or one and a half inch curling wand to, I am, I would not recommend going above 280. I would go as low as you can to get what you want to have happen there. Uh, so I'll probably be doing that to at least this side, maybe that side, I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what's going to happen there. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this. Beautiful. This is the Shaded Biscuit. It's a gorgeous blonde on the cool end. It is a beautiful, beautiful blonde. Sorry, I'm holding it up a little too high. We've got the rooting on this. It's quite a dark root. But Raquel Welch does do a banding around the perimeter of the lightest color in the shade that 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 it is. I kind of don't like that. I wish it was blended. Just like with John Renault, I wish he would blend it with some light colors. I wish she would blend hers with some darker colors. Um, but looks like we have some nice broken waves here on the side. It's going to tuck into our nape. That'll be nice. It's not as short as like the Ignite back here, but it's going to give us a nice kind of tucked in feeling which I actually like 
I actually like that. And then we have some more length here, and then we go over to this side, and the wave pattern is doing something a little funky here. I, we might have to fix that. We might have to experiment a little bit with that. Okay, so this is the Shaded Biscuit one. Let's hurry up and get this on, and we'll take a gander and see what we think. All right, so um, I'm, I'm dealing with the, the ear tabs now, I'm just making sure that they are straight. And I am right, the, the stays in this particular one are either, there's a little something that's bendy in there, but it is not the traditional metal stay that I'm used to. Very strange for Raquel Welch. Um, here's the side that I was a little worried about. Okay, so this is a uh, left side mono part here and it goes from here to here so somewhere in there is a little bit of room for some variance there um, yeah this this I had a funny feeling just by looking at it was going to give me a little bit of an issue but this is heat friendly and I may def definitely I may definitely have to take some heat to this because this was probably why somebody returned this wig. And honestly, the fact that it does not stay super secure and flat against the side of my head. So how am I gonna remedy that? With some It Stays. I'm gonna take the It Stays and really press it in right through here and that's gonna deal with that and hold it all day. I don't wear wig grips generally. Um, I use It Stays around the perimeter of my hair and I bring it back about here and then I'll bring it and make sure I just kind of press it in there and hold that down. So I'm not too, too worried about that. I'm gonna pull out a little bit of my own hair, which is gonna be a little tiny bit longer probably. But yeah, even my, my finger wants to get caught on that. It just does not wanna stay. And if you wanna tuck it, well then it wants to kind of come up. Also, this wig is coming down so far. Do I not have, no, that looks about right. Yeah, beautiful lace front. I can tell that right out of the gate. Uh, but my goodness, yeah, it's really up against, like way, way up against the back of my ear. So I'm gonna actually put this back up on my wig grip a little bit right through here so it's not right up against the back of my ear so, so much. Okay, that's better. Because you know, I wear glasses, so I gotta be able to, to get my glasses comfortably underneath that ear tab. It comes down very, very low. The bottom of that ear tab is right here, which is quite low even for me. Um, so, but the, the cap is comfortable, it fits, there's no, no bulkiness, you know, no poofy, gappy things going on. It fits, that part fits great, and it is very comfortable. So this is just a fun, flirty style. I'm, I'm actually, I could really dig this side um, pretty nicely, I, I, can, I can do that. It's this side that looks a little bit too frumpy for me, if that makes any sense. Um, it doesn't go with, with what's going on here. Um, so, you know, yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely, it's not, it's not driving with me at all on that side. But before I go crazy with this, <laughs> Let's take a look at what this looks like on all sides. Okay, so this is the right side. This is the fuller side. The side opposite of the part. And we have the back. Oh, hold on. Let me get my microphone. Make sure I don't pull out everything. So this is definitely, definitely longer than, say, the Ignite back there. Um, got a lot more, you know, if Ignite is just a little too, too short for you, this one is uh, definitely longer. Here's this side. Yeah. 
Well, you guys, I think this has some great potential. Honestly, I do. I'm not freaking out too, too much. It's just this, it's this, it's this over here. I, I don't even, I don't know. I think, I think they should have taken it back this way like they did these. I think they just did this and they kept going that direction all the way around the wig instead of kind of meeting in the middle. I think this will be an easy fix, I hope. Um, but you know what the interesting thing will be is to see if my second one has a little bit different of a curl experience. You know, if the waves are sitting a little differently or if it's just kind of how they curl all of them. Um, but we can take some heat to this, guys. So let's not panic too much right now. We'll panic later if we have to, but for now, <laughs> let's, let's not. All right, let's take a look at the lace front again. Even in my five times mirror, it looks pretty dang good. I don't recommend looking at your lace fronts in a five times mirror because you're not going to want to do that. People don't wear five times mirrors, you know, glasses when they're looking at you. So this is beautiful. Um, it's Rekka Welch again. We kind of have that lighter banding right there close to your your skin. So it's, it's a little bit less harsh than if you know, it was going to be a very dark color, but I do like the length. It feels good. We'll see how it behaves as time goes on um, and how it wants to deal with life because we'll see <laughs> when it comes to the little ducktail thing that can happen back here, you know, as the, the fibers kind of start sticking together. But for now, I think this is actually pretty dang cute. It really is. A little hairspray will tame those little flyaways and it will help to keep it out of your eyes. This would probably have a tendency of wanting to fall in, but just putting a little tiny bit of hairspray on there is gonna help that. Uh, but it is cute. Fibers on these, um, this heat-friendly fiber is unbelievably natural. I think that's why so many people bite the bullet anyway and they know heat friendly fibers break down faster they're very very delicate um, you know i recommend just finger styling something like this uh, and doing that very gently picking them up maybe with your hairspray um, and just being really really gentle with these heat friendly fibers but they're so realistic looking they're the closest in my mind you know to human hair they are so hard to not like, and yet they do break down faster. Uh, but the shorter styles will hang on much, much, much longer. I can do, well, my goodness, my Ignite wigs, well, I haven't had my other one that long yet, so I can't say wigs, but the one Ignite that I had from the beginning lasted me well over a year of a lot of use, a lot of styling. If you tend to really love these heat-friendly fibers like I do, I find that the investment pays off a little better if you go with a shorter style. So, um, well, you know, this is kind of in between. I really like this, you guys. I think this is kind of cute. Um, I, I do, I do. I think this this is kind of cute. The more, the more I see it, I, I feel like I'm just gonna do this really quick just to kind of give it a little texture over on this side too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So just be careful with your heat friendly fibers, but man, oh man, these, they're just, they feel realistic. They look realistic. You never have to worry about too much shine. This is a very light blonde. It is not too shiny. So that is also something that you just don't have to deal with, with the heat friendly fibers like you do with regular synthetic blondes, you know? So, okay, let's, let's try this other one. Now this next one is in shaded cappuccino. I am really curious to find out if we're going to get a whole different wave experience with this one. My goodness, I have way too many wigs going on here. Literally just plop this on my head, uh, plopped it on, have done nothing yet. So <laughs> um, this is Shaded Cappuccino. Uh, 
Let me, I don't think I have this on straight. Having a little bit of wobbliness going on with my lace. Um, a little bit of, but that's, that can be pressed down. Again, this I would have to wear with it stays for sure. Uh, same thing with the ear tabs on this, same thing. They come down very low. I'm gonna have to push the back up a little bit so it doesn't gather up really bad behind my ear. So if you do wear a wig grip, just kind of set it up there a little bit higher. All right, so yeah, you know, guys, I can tell they kind of do that with all of them. They kind of do this and then they just keep doing that direction all the way to this side. Not sure why they, they do that. A little bit different. This one is a little bit different. Um, it it uh, wants to kind of go more up and away, this particular one. Now, remember I said there was permatease over here. Let me tell you, the permatease isn't that much at all. Uh, you know, I could feel it kind of along the part, but it's very minimal. That way it's not just gonna stick to the side of the cap there. I think it's very smart to put some permatease along the side of a part. That way it's up and off rather than just, you know, so that's good. Um, But yeah, I kind of like this to fall forward a little bit. Kind of separate these guys. And I'm gonna kind of deepen this part, at least here in the front, as much as it's gonna let me without um, fighting too, too much. I just wanna deepen the part a little bit more just to see it might not work until we uh, some hairspray here on it. I'm gonna break it apart. It's supposed to be kind of messy. It's a little heavy right here. I'm just gonna kind of help it, help it along. Gonna help it a little bit. I don't know, let me give you a once around one more time here. This is the shade of cappuccino. I really like the longer nape. Um, I don't have to be quite so on it when it comes to making sure my nape is shaved and looking good, because with my night, I really have to make sure it looks really nice. Um, this one's a little longer, you know, and uh, I kind of like that. I do. Um, and over time, guys, these will fall, because I would want these to fall a little bit. and. Um, they will, they, they will, and even a little product will help um, to weigh the fire, fibers down. But say you, um, you get something like this, I would recommend when you're done, not putting it right back in the box, uh, put it on a, like a dryer rack, a wig drying rack, just to kind of let those fibers settle down. These are fresh out of the box, fresh out of the box. And uh, you gotta give them a little bit of give because uh, box hair is real, man, and um, <laughs> you gotta give it a little bit of relaxed time, and it just has to acclimate itself to the real life. You know, it's been in that box, so. Um, hmm. Again, a tiny little bit of hairspray is gonna really help. This one, I don't know, I'm kind of liking this now over here on this one. Um, I don't know, I think with a little hairspray, I, I think, I think I still have to tuck it a little bit. I kind of like what it's doing here now. So I think I may leave this one alone, but I really think I'm gonna have to do that other one. It, it didn't give me any little like 
these things. It just kind of did this thing. Anyway, guys, I love this color, Shady Cappuccino. Again, I think this is a great transition color if you are into the browns and you kind of want to mosey on over to the blondes, this is a wonderful color. Same with John Renault. I talked about that with my wig chat last week with January here. This shaded mocha is another great transition bridge, if you will, from your warm browns over to kind of going and getting a little tiny bit over to the blonde side. Anyway, okay, yeah, this is cute. I wish I was a little bit more, you know, but whatever. It is what it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this helpful if you've been looking at this one. I'm thinking it's adorable. I'm, I'm kind of glad that I got it in two colors. Hallelujah. And until next time, you guys, I'll be seeing you very soon.